I'm here with Willie Krupp today at Willie's Carbs and Dino, and Willie has this amazing system, the Super Bowl system, and Willie, tell us a little bit more about it. All right, thank you, Kate. What we have is a bowl system here that doesn't have a float, a needle and seat, and it doesn't use a fuel pressure regulator. And the whole purpose of this is it's, it's numb to G-force, which any kind of G-force is gonna make the liquid uh, get away from the, the jetting on the left side of the, the carburetor, which affects the, the mixture in the engine. I'm gonna show you here on, um, we're gonna turn the fuel pressure on. We're gonna show you what it looks like in a conventional style Holley flow bowl with a needle and seat. This represents 8,000 engine RPM. As you see here, all the fuel is aerated. The needle and seat and float is trying to adjust to um, keep the, the engine alive because the float has to drop and the needle and seat has to open to allow the bowl to be refilled. So this is what we end up with at the end of the straightaway. Now as the racer enters the corner, you're gonna notice you got a jet on each side of the center line here, how the liquid strays away from it. With all the air on top of the liquid, that's what allows the, the fluid to slosh. Over here, we designed a system that offers no air into the chamber right here above the liquid. Now, what it does is it overfills this cavity and spills over into the exit cavity, which gets returned back to the fuel cell. With this here not having any air in the system, you see the jets and the power valve down there, they never get uncovered. It's never, no matter how much of the G-force, whether it's lateral, acceleration, now we have all eight cylinders running at one mixture for the whole lap. That's fantastic. And then you've also got, it's like a whole system. It's not just to the, the side pieces. We have the return lines and such to keep them, main, it maintains like constant fuel pressure. Is that right? Well, what it does is it, it maintains a um, specific level here where we set the height of the wall. Now, fuel pressure, there again, we said it was numb to fuel pressure, and what we mean by that is a belt-driven fuel pump. We always have to run a return uh, regulator on it or some kind of regulator to keep it from running because the needle and seats is going to spill over and can't handle the pressure. This here, we run no regulator, so you'll be um, 30 to 40 pounds of fuel pressure down the straightaway. It'll still idle below 10, but the whole system here, we have a, a check valve for the return line, also a poppet valve assembly here on three pounds that shuts off anytime the motor's off. Anytime we have above three pounds of fuel pressure, it opens the, the fuel inlet valve. And uh, if the racer ever jacks up the back of the car, the check valve system that's in here allows the engine and carburetor to ever get um, fluid travel in the wrong direction and flood the engine. This comes as a complete kit. We install it onto your carburetor. It's $9.95 and you can send us your carburetor or you can um, add this to any one of our new product lines and if you want to add it to one of our carburetors. Fantastic. Thank you so much for that, for taking the time with us today, Willie. It's a, an amazing system.